I'm going to show you three ways that you can lose fat as fast as possible and keep it off. Follow these three things and you will be optimizing how much fat you can lose in the shortest amount of time possible. This is what I followed. Now, number one, you want to get into routine as fast as possible. If you're just starting your weight loss transformation, if you want to lose weight, the first thing that I would say, the first thing that I did was get into a routine. And what that means is get into a healthy sleeping habit. Sleep is one of the most important things when it comes to overall health, but also fat loss, building muscle, and just feeling good about yourself. So go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time every single day as much as you can. And I know that, you know, you can't, it's, you won't be able to do that every single day. For example, if you go out on Friday nights, if you go out and Saturday, like weekends, you know, there's always something on, but as much as you can, try to stick to a routine when it comes to your sleeping habits. Try to go to bed around the same time and wake up around the same time. You wanna make sure that you're getting in at least seven hours of sleep. Now, that's sleep. And another thing is the kind of foods that you are eating. Now, you wanna make sure that if you're eating a certain way, um, around a certain time, whether you're doing intermittent fasting, whether you're eating one meal a day, two meals a day, I would recommend, what I recommend is following what feels best for you, what you can sustain. For a long time, when I first started my weight loss transformation, I like eating a lot of food. So what I was doing is I was fasting half, more than half a day, and then I used to eat two big meals, or even sometimes one big meal that hit my calories. I would make sure that, that I wasn't under eating, but I would make sure that I was eating enough calories and that would fill me up and I would feel um, content. I would feel, I wouldn't get hungry anymore because I knew the whole day, even though I was fasting, I was looking forward to that big meal. So figure out a way of eating that works for you and stick to that routine. Whether it's waking up in the morning, having a shake in the morning and having five smaller meals, or if it's fasting for 16 hours a day, stick to that routine as much as you can because the more you break your routine it's going to affect your progress it's going to affect your routine and why i say routine is it builds discipline now the biggest thing is when you get into your weight loss transformation you want to make this a routine and you want to make this a discipline because the things that you do to, to lose fat to lose weight you're going to be doing the same kinds of things to keep that weight off so if you're following a certain lifestyle to lose fat, you have to make it sustainable enough that you'd be able to do that for the rest of your life. So get into healthy habits. So sleep, eating, and another thing is what time you train. And I know that this can be hard for some people, but try to stick to a regular training time. So if you train in the mornings, try to train in the mornings as much as you can, if you can, every single day don't change or if you can train after work train after work i do recommend training earlier in the morning because it just gets it out of the way you don't have to things can come up in your day that could you know affect um what time you train so getting it done early in the morning you get it done and nothing else you have no other excuses for the rest of the day maybe you're at work you feel tired you miss gym i know that i've been through that numerous times so if you train if you wake up early in the morning and you get training out of the way you have no excuses anymore to not train. So make sure you're training around the same time every single day. You wanna make this process a habit. Weight loss, fat loss is a habit. And you wanna make this a habit that you forget about it. You shouldn't be waking up every morning hoping to lose fat, hoping to lose weight. Make it a lifestyle and then progress will follow. And you'll be losing fat before you even know it. You wanna forget that you're even on a weight loss transformation because you wanna make it a habit. You wanna make it a thing that you do every single day, like brushing your teeth. You know, like driving, like going to work. You want to make this a habit that you just wake up and you do it. You wake up and you have your first meal. You wake up and you go to gym. You don't even think about it. It just becomes discipline and becomes habit. So get into a routine as fast as you can. I would say tomorrow, get into a routine. Find a routine that's sustainable. And I'm not going to say you have to do this, you have to do that. The best routine is one that works for you. So figure out a routine that works around your lifestyle. Get in at least seven hours of sleep every night and you will see progress followed. Now, number two is your cardio. Now, you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you're not doing excessive cardio. I know not a lot of personal trainers out there that tell you do, you know, 30, 40, 45 minutes of cardio every single day. I would say no. In my opinion, I when I did my fat loss transformation, I barely did any cardio machines. 
I don't recommend it. The one thing that I do recommend is walking. You want to make sure that you're walking as much as you can. If you have a Fitbit, wear a Fitbit or you know, wear some kind of tracker that tracks your steps. Don't use your phone. Your phone is inaccurate. Use a Fitbit or a tracker, some sort of tracker that tracks your steps. The one that I use will be in the description box down below. But make sure you're hitting, I would say, start off with 10,000 steps every single day. That's what I did. I did 10,000 steps every single day. And then, you know, as you sort of see progress, you can adjust that and turn it into 12,000 steps, 15,000 steps as you see your fat loss start to plateau. But you want to make sure that you are hitting those steps every single day. And that brings me to another point. You need to measure your progress. Make sure that you are weighing yourself every single day. The amount of people that I talk to, they complain to me that they're not losing any fat, they're not losing any weight. And I ask them, do you weigh yourself every day? And they say, no, I weigh myself once a week. And even that, they weigh themselves at the gym, you know, uh, in the evening or at night time. Your weight's going to fluctuate throughout the day. So pick a time. If you're going to weigh yourself, I would say weigh yourself as soon as you wake up. Go to the bathroom and weigh yourself every single morning because your weight fluctuates throughout the day. So you want to weigh, weigh yourself and write it down. Write it in your phone, write it down on a notebook every single day. Weigh yourself and you want to average that out. And that's going to give you your average weight for the week. And that's going to be a more accurate representation of your weight, of your progress, than weighing yourself at random times during the day or once a week or twice a week. And another thing is take photos. Take as much photos as you can. Take photos of your back. I would say put your phone down on a stand in front of a mirror. Put, don't even take photos. Record. Record yourself and pose front, side, back. And what this is going to do is you're going to be able to see progress because sometimes we start losing fat in places that we can't even see. And then we get stressed. We, I, I got, you know, I was, I, I felt when I first went into my fat loss transformation, I was, you know, I didn't know what to do because I couldn't see any visible fat loss, but I was losing weight. And what was happening is I was losing weight in my lower back, in my love handles. So make sure that you are you know, measuring progress in terms of your weight, but also physically. Take a video, um, I would say maybe three times a week, and then that's gonna, you know, measure your progress. Because progress isn't just numbers. Numbers is one big thing of progress, but also photos and visual cues, visual representation of your weight loss is important because sometimes you could lose weight and also build muscle and your weight will stay the same. So you wanna make sure that you are, you know, visibly losing fat at the same time as well. So focus on getting in steps. I would say don't bring in cardio machines until, you know, when you start to really plateau, but that's deeper into your cut. When I did my fat loss transformation, I barely did any cardio machines. I still don't do any cardio machines. I just walk. Get in, I try to get in at least 15,000 steps a day. Walking is the best cardio. I just go for a walk and I would much prefer that than, you know, any kind of cardio machine. If cardio machines is for you, then or I'm all for that, do whatever you feel is sustainable, but make it, choose some sort of cardio that you find is sustainable. And for most people that's walking. If you can do machine cardio several times a week, then do that. But don't bring in cardio, don't bring in too much cardio as soon as you start your fat loss transformation. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose too much weight too fast. And the key here is losing fat and keeping it off. So make sure that you are you know, easing into cardio slowly. So I would say start off with 10,000 steps, nothing else, and then measure your progress. And once you start to plateau, increase that to 15,000, 12,000 steps, and then 15,000 steps. That's how you're gonna measure progress. That's how you can adjust your cardio. Now, my last point is your diet. Obviously diet is the most important thing in this whole journey and this whole progress. So you wanna make sure that you are in a caloric deficit. Now, I have a free guide in my description box down below that goes through how to calculate your calories, how to figure out, you know, what kind of calories you need, how to figure out your macros, your fat, protein, and carbs. But the main thing here is calories. The only thing that I focus on is protein and calories. My fat and carbs are constantly changing, um, but as long as I'm hitting my calories, that's all that I care about. So focus on your calories, track your food. And this is where I say, go vegan go plant-based the reason why i'm saying going plant-based obviously i'm vegan for animal reasons um, not for health reasons but the health aspects of going vegan is it's it's insane how you feel um how much food you can eat and still lose weight how much fiber you're getting it's just genuinely better for you i would highly recommend going on a plant-based 
um, becoming plant-based in general, going vegan. Obviously, go vegan for the animals, but if you want to lose fat, whole foods plant-based is the best diet possible. And this is backed by studies. This is backed by my own experience. This is backed by, you know, every any, anyone who knows what they're talking about. A whole foods plant-based diet is the healthiest diet on this planet. So you want to make sure that you are eating as much as you can whole foods and things like chickpeas, lentils, beans, tofu, all of these foods are so calorically, like you can eat high volume um, of these foods and still eat less calories. These things are not calorically dense. So you can eat a lot more food, but still lose weight, still eat less calories. So whole foods plant-based is the way to go. It's my hack, it's what I did. When I was in my fat loss transformation, I was struggling to hit the calories that I needed because I was so full and that's a good thing. You want to make sure that you are feeling full, you are feeling satiated because that's going to be sustainable. You don't want to starve yourself. That's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to put yourself in too much of a caloric deficit because you're not going to keep that weight off. You want to make it so that you start off with foods that fuel you up. And these foods are foods that are high in fiber, which are whole foods plant-based. So go whole foods plant-based. Go vegan and choose whole foods plant-based items and that's going to help you lose more fat it's going to help you lose more fat faster obviously in saying all of these things you don't want to make you don't want to lose fat too fast that's the biggest mistake that i see a lot of people do they lose fat too fast but there is a way to optimize everything that you're doing possible to make sure that in the fastest amount of time possible that you are losing weight in a sustainable manner and you do keep that weight off so if you follow these things, you're going to be losing weight sustainably. Um, you all, you'll be optimizing every single thing and you will, you know, you will progress. You will see these results come to fruition. So this is how I would recommend losing weight as fast as possible. And even though I say fast as possible, it's going to be sustainable. This is what I did. This is the fastest way, healthily possible that you can lose weight. You, want, you don't want to lose more than 1% of your body weight each week. That's why I say measure your progress. And as soon as you're losing weight too fast, that's when you need to pause and maybe have a look at your cardio. Maybe have a look at the foods you're eating because you don't want to lose weight too fast. So these tips are what I follow to lose weight in the fastest time possible. Follow these tips and you will see progress. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram or comment down in the, in the comments down below. I will answer them. I will see you guys in the next one.